What's going on YouTube fishing fam today? I'm with Hook and Hogs TV. Today we're gonna be Hook and Hogs, not on TV but on YouTube, and with Jake. We're here at a fire pond. Not with Fire Pond Guy, unfortunately. I was uh, I was gonna fish with him, but he's in a different state. I'm in Nebraska for one day, literally one day. I'm driving to Texas uh, after this, and uh, obviously gonna go fish with the Guggen Squad. A lot of you guys are commenting why I haven't been there, why I've been traveling around. Well, that's just how life works sometimes. But today I'm in Nebraska for one day, so why not fish? Why not create a video for you guys at a Fire Pond? Because you know that's what Nebraska is known for is Fire Ponds. I'm gonna quit talking today. The the plan, the juice is gonna be spinner baits. Mainly because it's cloudy and windy. That's the only reason why I say that. And then also maybe some some stankos. And if I'm feeling really really uh, courageous, I might throw some top waters tonight. Keep in mind, um, it's 50 degrees and the water's probably like 50, 55. So not the not the best conditions for top water. But this pond just is looking a little too saucy right now. So I'm gonna get to fishing. We're gonna go fish off the bank. We're gonna go fish in like a little creek real quick. And then. After about five minutes of fishing in the creek, we're gonna take a little John boat out. Three people in one John boat should go really well. Uh, really uh, expecting, hopefully not to flip that. It's that one right there, for, if, in case you guys are wondering. Hopefully not flip that. I guess you flipped it last time, right? That gives me a lot of confidence. Yeah, All right, let's go fishing. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> oh, oh dude, it's a giant. Oh my God, is he? Okay. Grab it, grab it. Oh my god! There's a five. a five. That's a five. five. <laughs> First cast. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Here, Jake, make a, make a cast down there. You just got a five on the first cast. So he caught that on a spinner bait. So obviously this is a fair fire pond. I'm going to try a Sanko. See, it's really calm right here. He caught that where the wind's blowing in, but it's calm. So I'm going to toss a Sanko. We're thinking these fish are going to be pre-spawn. So they may be back up in this creek. So we can't get the John boat back here, so we're just going off the bank. It's not the most accessible area. Yeah, oh wow, there's a lot of water. I didn't realize there was this much oh, water. Here, just me. Oh yeah, I guess you can get to the point. All right, just watch where you step. All the years of playing hopscotch come into play. Let's yeah, let's go right here. Oh, all right, <laughs> we're good. Yes. <laughs> Success, boys. <laughs> Success. All right, we're floating. Ooh, yeah, I got a little muddy water. Had a lot of rain, so it's a little muddy. Going with the old chartreuse gold. Spin bait. We're cooking. All right, let's see if we can catch a fish. Uh -oh. oh, we're cooking something. <laughs> let's go hang a right. Yeah. Let's go up there and fish by the dam and let us just float back through these trees because that's where you always catch them. No, we're just going to tie up to one of those trees. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you recording right now? There's one. There's one. Yep. It's a big one too. Dude, it's a big one. Yep. Yep. Record? Is it recording? Uh, it's just a red button. Oh. Yeah, that yeah, that one right okay. there. It, is it not, it's, do you see it counting anywhere? Hit it again. Hit it again. Oh, it came off. That was a five. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was. We'll catch some more. It's fine. It's a five. It's not a big deal. Oh, we'll catch another one. Yeah, we'll catch more. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. See, you guys, you can't be like Perrick. You can't freak out. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. Jake's got one. All right, reel, reel, reel. Make sure you keep him rod tip up. There you go. Oh yeah, keep him out of the trees. I'll help you land this guy. It, feels like a, it looks like a good, oh dude, it's a big one. Rod tip up, rod tip up. Oh, it's big. Rod tip up, rod tip up. There you go, that's a big one. Yep. Oh a, my that's god. Four. That's a four. Yeah, that's a four. There you go. Jeez, dude. That's Jake's first fish. Hold that sucker up. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that, oh dude. God. All right, well, that's get what's in here. Roll. All right, get the release. What are you going to name that one? Bertha. Bertha? <laughs> Bertha, the, Bertha, Bertha goes. Yeah. That's four. I, I give it a solid four. Yeah. Four pounds. Probably. Not a bad fish. One four and one. There's one. You got another one? Yep. Oh, oh, what? Fetcher's on a roll, boy. Oh. Yeah, he does have a fish. Yeah. All right, keep reeling, keep reeling. Let's do another one. Let's see how big I'm gonna bring my I'll bring mine in. Uh a couple. Yep, I'll tip up. Yeah, that's okay, another that was good. Got him? Yeah, that's, that's three four. that's probably three and a half on that one. It's not quite as fat. Look at that. That's at least three and a half. 
There you go. Hey, <laughs> look at it. That's back to back, dude. Yeah, that's three, three and a half. Let me see him. Good job, dude. All right, well, I'm getting my butt kicked right now. All I've accomplished today is missing a fish. Jake just caught two, and uh, Hook and Hogs caught a five, and I missed like a four and a half, five pounder. What are you naming that one? Leroy. Leroy! <laughs> See you later, Leroy. All right. Well, we uh, basically just tied up to this tree. We tied up to a tree right there, that old tree, and we're just fan casting. This is a wind, I always talk about this, especially in ponds, wind blown, and then this is like the first structure that the fish would get on um, wherever the wind blows. And the reason why people like people, the fish, the fish aren't people, why the fish like wind blown is it, that blows like the little microorganisms like plankton and stuff. And then what eats the plankton is like bluegills and crappie. And so then they follow that and then the bass follow them. So you always wanna go like kind of wind blown wherever the wind is blowing into, and then also bait fish group around structure. So any any type of trees or anything like that, that's kind of where they kind of where they group up. So that's why we're fishing here. So far, I mean, it's produced, like I said, I missed like a four and a half or five, and Jake had two of them pushing four, just in this one little spot. So definitely made a made a good choice here. We're gonna, we're gonna keep on fishing. There's plenty of trees though. We're just gonna kind of make our way down. I might flip a jig in a little bit too and see if we can catch one doing that. I paid for like pretty much all of it, so I, I couldn't get anything expensive. And I wanted trucks with like a lot of room to hold it. And he's like, well, you're gonna have to get a. There's one. There's one. Oh my god. Yep, that's a good one. Hog on, boys. Hog on. Hog. Oh god, you got. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, grab her. Just grab her in the mouth right there. Yeah, there we go. Finally, I I, sh I shook the flare curse. That's he's pushing four. I'll give it three and three really? and three quarters. Yeah, I mean he could be a four. I don't know. I don't have a scale. And you guys in the comments always get butt hurt when I'm always freaking. I got a scale. I got a scale. Wait, you have a scale? Yeah. All right, okay, go ahead and get it. All right. All right. Let's. Uh, so he's got a scale. I'm gonna give it. I don't. It's probably four. It's a. It's a pretty, pretty hefty guy. Let's say right at four, maybe a touch below. Let's see what the scale says. Yeah, what did I what did I say? Oh. I said right below four. Three nine seven. Three nine seven. See guys, all you guys in the comments hating. I said right at four, right below it. Three nine seven. That's my first fish. We uh we, we went around the pond and uh, didn't catch a whole lot. We came back to the trees and uh, this little dude decided to munch it. See you later, Todd. All right. Oh, there you go. There you go. Rod tip up. Rod tip up. I saw you. Meet it. Roger, but he's going to the trees real as fast as you can. Real as fast as you can. Jake's going. Is he going for the trees? Yeah. Just he's, he'll swim his way out. He'll swim his way out. Rod tip up and just reel. This is how you get. Oh, he's going in the trees. All right, folks. This is how you get a fish out of a tree. He's, it's coming. You got braid. You got braid. Dude, it's a big one. It's you. It's big. It's big. Look at him. That's how you get it out of the tree. Rod tip up and reel. Yeah, re reel. Reel him. Reel him. Reel him. Six pounder. That's a good one. Bring him right to me. I'll grab him. Uh, that's that's a big one. That's bigger than mine. Yeah, that's four and a, that's four and a quarter, four and a half. There you go, you grab them. There you go, folks. You got a 101 on how to get them out of timber. Just rod tip up and you just crank. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that beautiful fish. Spinner bait. They're munching. They're munching today, boys. Look at that fish. God dang, they're so fat. I can't get over how fat they are. It's awesome. All right, that's that's Jake's that's Jake's fish. That's a I would say probably right at four. I mean that's about the same size I had. All right, what's what's the name of this one? Carlos. 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 See you later, Carlos. See you, Carlos. Woo! Carlos got attitude. I don't know why we didn't stay in the trees this whole time. We uh we basically we came to the trees. We caught a bunch of fish, and then I was like, dude, let's take one lap. I thought they might be spawning, and I don't have my deeper with me to check the water temperature. I think it's colder than I might thought. Might might think might be thought thinking might have thought. Um, whatever the proper terminology is here, I dropped out. So I'm thinking it's colder, and they're not spawning. I think they're more like pre-spawn mode, uh, maybe just kind of feeding and stuff. They're they're hanging in these trees though, which is kind of what I said the whole wind blown thing. We pulled back up these trees. I caught one, and then we tied up, and Jake just caught another one. So. That's kind of that's kind of the deal right now. We're gonna sun's going down. It is getting it is getting kind of dark. It's gonna get dark pretty pretty soon here. We're just gonna chuck spinner baits to be honest. I'm gonna try to throw in a jig, maybe a jerk bait a little bit, but really spinner baits is what I said was gonna work when we got here, and it's it's kind of what's been working. It's just kind of what we had a gut feeling on. So, you, oh, I thought I thought you had one. All right, Hog. let's let's keep fishing.
tomorrow. What's going on guys? So as you could tell, well maybe you don't know, but this is the MTB crib. I am back in Texas, finally. It's been like, I don't know, too long since I haven't been here. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking why I haven't been here. Well, I've just been everywhere. I've been in Florida, I've been in Nebraska for a little bit as you guys saw. But I never ended, I, I did end the video, but it didn't end the way I wanted to. So I scrapped the outro um, at the actual pond. So we're talking like, that after you like after I fished, I drove that morning and uh, came to Texas. Two of the Guggens are gone, Peric and John. They're gone. They're gone for like two and a half, three weeks. Not gonna see those dudes. But me and Rob are gonna be fishing tomorrow. I'm gonna end the video here. But before I do, for those of you guys that are still watching, you guys are like true flare fishing fam members. For you guys, for you guys only, I started up a new program and it is called Flare Fishing Fam. There's an Instagram page, you should give it a follow, it's down below. And essentially what you do is if you pick up some flare gear like this hat and shirts and some more stuff is coming, all you gotta do is you gotta pick some of this up and go take some pictures, you holding your PB, any, any fish, it could be a flare fish, it could be your PB, it could be just any type of bass, crappie, walleye, catfish, northern pike, it doesn't matter. Post it on Instagram and hashtag Flare Fishing Fam and tag Flare Fishing Fam. And every single month, I'm going to be giving stuff away. So in the month of April, at the end of April, like April 30th, April 31st, whatever it is, I'm going to be giving away a $250 favorite rod. It's going to be the Rush Series. That's what I'm doing. And every single month, it's going to be something different. So this month, it is the Rush Series rod. Next month, it could be a six-stick combo for 150 bucks. It really, it's just going to be different things. And so all you got to do is, like I said, just pick some of this up. I'll leave this, the link to the hats and the shirts and everything down below. That is my way of just giving back to you guys. Uh, for those of you guys that support what I do, um, it really does. It, it really helps. You guys see me go to Florida and Nebraska and Texas, and believe it or not, plane tickets are not free and gas is not free. So anything that you guys are willing to help me out with is is greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm not going to drag this video out any longer, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know I only caught one fish, but it was a big one, right? It was like a four-pounder. Can't complain. Four-pounders in Nebraska is pretty good, but I'm in Texas. I'm going after my PB now. I'm going to try to break my PB. The bass are spawning. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and peace! Why would you punch when you can just freaking frog? Because you freaking get tired of freaking using the same freaking lure, and the freaking subscribers get freaking pissed. Flare, I, you suck. I, you can catch fish on just a chatterbait. Use a, use a different lure. Oh, All right, guys, I'm going to pull out the Sanko. I, you use as a Sanko. Pull out a different lure. All right, guys, I'm going to go frog, and all you do is frog. Use something else.